that I have to attend or I have to come to these type of uh, forums was when I, when I started uh, after my PhD in, in marketing. I, I started supervising one of my master's students who came up with a proposal, with, a, with an idea of bitcoins and it was a new word for me uh, around one and a half year back. Uh, one year back and he submitted he successfully defended his uh, master's thesis uh, under my supervision but till his his degree i was still asking him what is new in, what is new in bitcoins what is new in cryptocurrency so that made me uh, think about these new things that made me uh, feel like yes i should go back and connect connect back to that technology world and uh, another reason was uh, I started my venture. Uh, it was a consultancy firm. I started my venture two, day, two years ago. And uh, one of my students again approached me from Korea and he said that if I can be of any help, if I can uh, make, you, uh, make you work something in crypt cryptocurrency, do let me know. And then I realized that yes, there is something going on. So first aspect, being a Muslim, the first aspect that I, I considered or I was of more, most concern was, is it legal? It is, is it legal in Islam? So I have taken these pictures from downstairs and I hope all of you know this logo. We call it Halal and this is uh, maybe there is, there is, else than me, there are, there are some Muslims uh, sitting here. So you know this word Halal. It is legal to use or legal to eat or legal to do this thing in Islam means halal. So according to, uh, and why this is important, why this Islamic perspective is important because it is the second growing religion and by 2050 it is said that Christianity and Muslim, Islam will be, uh, will be of same, uh, you can say same, same number. The philosophy of money in Islam, it is a different concept or it is a, a concept, uh, f concept which, is, which is a little different from the traditional concept of money, traditional uh, concept of banking as well. Uh, in Islam we say that we don't trade the, uh, we, we don't trade money, but Bitcoin some people, they, they believe that it is trading of money. But now the conversion from that trading concept to using it legally to buy the things, using it uh, as, a, as we have Bitcoin wallets. So this, is, this concept is now changing. Uh, there are different aspects, there are different uh, views of different scholars here. Uh, and uh, now, the con the, now the story is changing toward the concept of risk. That if you think that there is a risk, or that is more important or there is a risk that is that the investors can understand then you should think about the the word there is no sharia objective sharia is the islamic law so there are there are no sharia obligations or objections on the usage of bitcoins a little comparison i'm trying uh, to finish it as soon as possible because i was given less time i was given only 10 minutes so i'll, I'll tr i'm trying to be as quick as possible this is a comparison between the conventional concept and the Islamic concept of, uh, of money. And uh, the conventional concept say it, uh, use money it as a commodity. While we, the Muslims, we, we say that it is a medium of exchange and store of, or storage of value. We can exchange values against this concept. Time value is the basis for charging interest on, on, on capital. This is what conventional concept says. And the Islamic concept says that we deal with the profit. We deal on, on profit with trade of goods and services. Interest is uh, another factor which is considered important when we talk about the money. So it is charged even in case the organization suffers losses in conventional way uh, by using the bank's funds. And Islamic concept says that it operates based on profit or loss sharing that we we don't always consider the profit side we, we always have the loss side also in our uh, in our systems in our islamic banking systems while dispersing cash finance running finance or working capital finance no agreement for exchange of goods or services is made in the conventional uh, concept of money 
while the Islamic concept says that the execution of agreements for the exchange of goods and services is necessary, while disbursing funds under uh, Muradaba, Salam, and Istinsa contracts. These are the Islamic, constra uh, Islamic contracts which we make when, when, we are, when we are dealing with money. Conventional banks, they use the money as a commodity which leads to inflation, while uh, the Islamic banking, they tend to create the link with the real sectors of the economic system by using trade-related activities. And from those activities, they generate the profit, or they can also get into losses. Uh, according to the, the different uh, different, uh, you can say, Islamic leaders, they, whenever they give some, uh, some decision on uh, an issue, it is called fatwa. So this word fatwa is again uh, a kind of justification for doing something, justification for saying something is, is halal or not, something is permissible or not. So uh, we, have a kind, we have different fatwas, we have fatwa from Turkish Directorate of Religious Affairs, uh, again, from uh, different scholars, uh, he is one of the one of the known scholars. It is permissible to use bitcoins. It is permissible to use bitcoins because of its changing nature. Because of its changing nature, from uh, from firstly, we 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 were not able to buy something by using bitcoins. We were only trading the money, and now that uh, that is chained and we can even exchange into commodity there are even uh, fatwas from malaysian fatwa council then we have saudi uh, cleric views also i'm skipping it just because of the time and i'm not explaining them in detail i want to come to the 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 main point at the end there are a few questions and uh, in, in them, the most important thing is the good side and the bad side of uh, bitcoins. So there are, there are some good sides which people, they, they read out or they list down like it confirms with the probation of riba, that is usury. It incorporates principles of uh, masalaha and mutual risk taking. Masalaha is basically mutual risk taking. It can potentially be used as parallel currency with fiat. It can potentially be used as hedging tool. So these are the good sides. And the bad sides are that it is volatile. And there is lack of Bitcoin accepting merchants, although this is changing. There are now more merchants which are accepting Bitcoins. Uh, two days ago, I heard there are, there are even ATMs installed in Hong Kong from where you can, you can get cash against Bitcoin or you can, you can use that Bitcoin. It has potential for abuse. There are, uh, there are cases in which it was reported that it is the money, the Bitcoin money is used, is used for uh, some illegal activities, even for money laundering, even for, uh, uh, for, for, using, uh, uh, for doing bad activities. And this is what, what the research says. This is, there is lack of regulatory body. There is no regulatory body against that cryptocurrency. And the reputation as a criminal currency, we hopefully know that there are many uh, cases which report that uh, this currency, Bitcoins, they are used in, in some illegal activities also, in some criminal activities also. So uh, the takeaway as, uh, for Muslims interested to use Bitcoins is that if you are informed enough to consider all the risks and rewards, feel free to buy hold and use it. But if you think it is bad and you cannot outweigh the bads, outweigh the bads that I am, uh, I, I have, I've just talked about, then don't use it. Bitcoin use it itself is Sharia compliant. That is the Muslim law. And uh, at least fatwas does not declare it as impermissible. So uh, this was how quickly I can go through my slides. Uh, I again apologize that because of my misunderstanding, I came almost uh, 20 minutes late, 15 minutes late, but uh, that, that uh, was just a misunderstanding. Thank you very much. If there is anything, uh, if, if there is any question.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Sorry. Very interesting perspective. Thank you. Thank you.